Hey guys, now in this video, let's discuss the second important matrix that is CPU utilization and used memory percentage. So again guys, this matrix, it is there under cache, under monitor, under matrix. And we will quickly see it in portal. And now guys, as you can guess, both these matrix, they should not be too low or they should not be too high. Now, when this matrix is too low, that means we are under utilizing the cache capacity. And so we should downgrade or we should scale down the cache size, right? And when this matrix is too high, that means cache is nearing its capacity limit. And so we may need to scale up the cache size. But guys, this decision that is to scale up the cache size we must take this decision after thorough investigation. So what I mean is before we decide to scale up our cache, we must revisit our cache design and we must analyze the cache usage. For example, are there any keys or records in the cache which are rarely requested, but they are, but they occupy the capacity that is, are we storing irrelevant data in the cache? That should be our first line of investigation. And now the second and most important that is, do we have poor eviction policy? So eviction policy, that means the policy depending on which we decide which key or which records should be eliminated from the cache. So for example, whenever we are adding a new record or a new key in cache, at that time we can set the expiry date or expiry time. So automatically at that time that key or record will be removed. So that is one of our eviction policy. Or second as we have been discussing a lot of times, let's say we have application where we display the list of our application admins, right? And again that list of application admins, let's say we have stored in Redis cache. So as far as this list, that is the actual list of app admins does not change, we are okay and we can and we can retrieve and show it from the cache. But let's say a new admin is added or existing admin is deleted. That means the data in backend database has been changed, right? So in that case, while adding that new admin or while deleting that existing admin, we should simply remove that record from the cache. So again, that can be an example of eviction policy. But then as far as eviction policy is concerned, there are additional scenarios as well, which we will discuss in our next video. But now for this video, let's see where we can find this CPU utilization and used memory percentage in Azure portal. So, so again guys, we are in Azure and this is our Redis cache and now on the left hand side, let's go down. Now under monitoring, let's click on this matrix. Now here under matrix, I will select this, see this CPU and on the left hand side, it says the CPU utilization of the Azure Redis cache server as a percentage, right? So let's click on CPU and guys, can you see this data for the last 24 hours and you can see it is more or less around 10%. So that means we are under utilizing the CPU capacity. So in this case, probably we can scale down our cache capacity. And now here under matrix, I will go down and guys, can you see this used memory percentage? And on the left hand side, it says the percentage of cache memory used for key value pairs. So let's click on that. And again, you see the data is for last 24 hours and again, we have used 4% of memory only. And so again, we are under utilizing the cache capacity. And so again, we can scale down. So basically, depending on these two criteria, we can decide whether we should scale down or whether we should scale up our cache size. So that's it guys for this video. And in our next video, let's discuss this eviction policy in detail.